Hello friends, this is Fred from Tech Talk and we are coming at you today with a video on how to employ a IP network camera as a two-way audio communication device. We all know cameras provide video surveillance of an area and that video surveillance is recorded to a hard drive uh, or on a mini SD card within the camera compartment itself. But cameras also have the ability to store audio Okay, so when the camera is recording video, it's also recording the audio noise uh, from the location through a microphone that is built in the camera. Okay, and now recently with two-way communication, you also have the ability to speak to your cell phone or a laptop or desktop and talk to the person on the other side of the camera. Okay, providing two-way communication. Okay, it's not difficult to install. We're going to teach you step by step how to install it. We're going to give you the part numbers, the camera part number, the horn part number, the amp part number, the PoE switch part number to employ this solution effectively and properly at your location. And we're going to cover it right now. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so, so you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if the content is useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos are actually based on subscriber question and comments. So what we're going to do, we're going to cover each of the components needed um, to hook up this two-way audio video surveillance system uh, individually. Uh, and then we're going to show you how to plug everything in together, okay? Everything that we cover in this video, uh, the camera, the trumpet horn, the PoE switch, uh, even an amplifier, there are links in the description to this video uh, for you to order the same exact thing that, that we are talking about, okay? We've tried all this in the field, we've installed it in the past, and it works well. So it kind of saves you a lot of time and figuring out what to use. So the first component is obviously the camera, right? This is a Dawa 4 megapixel IP dome camera. It is night color view, okay? So at nighttime, when night vision comes on, it stays color, it doesn't go to the infrared black and white, okay? It does have the pigtail uh, for the audio out, okay? This will go to the speaker and it has a built-in mic, okay? Because we wanna hear the people um, at the location of the camera talk to us as well as be able to talk to them uh, through the speaker. So this is the camera. And again, there's a link to order this exact camera in the description to the video. Um, the next item you will need is a PoE switch, okay? If you already have an NVR, it most likely has a built-in PoE switch with it. Um, but if it's a standalone installation like we are doing in this demonstration, you will need to order a PoE switch. We love the PoE switches from BB Tech. They are cost effective. They work awesome. Uh, they also have a long range uh, selector on them. Um, so instead of the normal uh, 300 yards, this guy, when you employ long distance, it can transmit power and data a thousand feet, okay? We do have a video on this PoE switch. There's a link going across the top of the screen right now on that, okay? So the PoE switch. The last component uh, that we'll talk about is the security trumpet horn. Uh, and this will give off the audio from the camera. So when you speak into your phone app and say, who is there or get off my property, this is what uh, gives that audible sound at the location of the camera, okay? The camera doesn't actually have a speaker. It needs to be hooked to a speaker through that audio output jack. And that is what this is for. Okay, so let me show you how all of this plugs in together. All right, so let's hook this up, shall we? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug our IP camera uh, into the PoE switch. Um, of course, you do that by plugging um, the PoE Ethernet plug of the IP camera into one of the PoE ports um, in your PoE switch. Okay. Of course, again, the PoE switches have four PoE ports. You'll see this one is flashing green and orange indicating power and data transmission and two uplink ports. The uplink ports, the green ports, are what you would plug into your modem with, okay, your router, your live internet for the phone app. 
so at this point we have the camera uh, plugged in to our PoE switch. Okay, that's perfect. The next thing we want to do, we want to take this yellow audio output plug of the camera. It clearly says audio out on it. And we want to plug in our Spico speaker. Okay, so as you can see, the speaker has speaker wire. Okay, uh, when this is shipped to you, um, this plug will not be on. Okay, there's a link in the description of this video um, with the order link to this plug. Okay, you're going to need this plug to convert the speaker wire into a audio plug. Okay, and you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver like this to tighten those wires in here. All right, we'll plug this into the camera like so. And right now what we have, we have the camera plugged into the PoE switch to a PoE port. We have our trumpet horn, our security horn, plugged into the audio output right here of the camera. And at this point we're ready to go. What I'm going to do is log into this camera using my laptop and we are going to test the audio. Okay, so let's do that now. All right, so at this point, we are going to log into the camera to enable the audio settings. Hopefully, if you follow our channel at this point, you already are able to locate your IP camera on your network and log into it. If not, we don't have time to cover that in this video. There's a link going across the top of your screen right now that will teach you how to use the DAWA config tool to locate your camera uh, on the network and how to activate it. Okay. So we're going to log into the camera. Once we log into it, we're going to go to our settings and to audio. And we will want to make sure that both both the mainstream and substream, the audio settings are enabled. Okay. There is also a volume control um, for your mic and for your speaker. Okay. I always tell people to speaker, we want to turn that up pretty high. If we're going to use these uh, trumpet horns, the security trumpet horns, without an amplifier um, to be cost effective, we want the volume to be relatively high uh, so the person on the other end at the camera uh, will be able to hear you clearly. Okay, so that's why we turn that up. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, and what we will do is change camera views and we will test our trumpet horn. All right, we have the camera connected to live internet. What we're gonna do now is pull up the camera on the phone app and test the microphone and the audio of the trumpet horn. Okay, so let me log into DMSS. Um, this is our IP camera in the living room. Okay, it is live. You can see the timestamp is moving. So if you pay attention to the picture on the phone screen, um, you will see a pause button here, okay? That pauses the picture. You will see a SD or a HD button um, that will make it streamable. If you have good bandwidth, you can do HD and improve the picture. And in the middle, with an X, you'll see a speaker, okay? That speaker is connected to the microphone at the camera location, okay? Um, so if you... Tap that, you will see the uh, the speaker is off. So now we are listening to audio from the camera. Okay? So I'm going to go up to the camera and talk, and you should be able to hear me. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. So as you see, the mic works on the camera. You can hear it through the app. So now we want to speak to the person at the camera through our phone. Okay. There is a second row of icons uh, below that speaker that I just showed you. Okay. Here is the speaker for the mic. You see the X. I'll tap it. Now it's on. We'll turn it off. Below that is a microphone. And when I hit this microphone, it will turn red. And that will tell us that we are connected we're connected to the audio output of the camera that is connected to our trumpet horn. 
Okay. And I'm going to test that and make sure I can hear the trumpet horn. Oh! As you can hear in the background, the trumpet is working. There's a little delay. Testing. That, my friends, is how two-way audio is set up and configured. It's how you use your smartphone. You use a DMSS app with the DAWA equipment, and it works beautiful. Two-way audio. Again, if you're using it outside in a big environment, you will want to get um, the amplifier that is mentioned. There's a link to an amplifier in the description of this video. You can link that to the audio output of the camera. You can plug to the audio input of the amp and connect the, the trumpet horn's speaker wires directly to that amp. Okay, and it will amplify the signal and you'll be able to hear it from 50, 100 yards away. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.